Welcome to Living the Empowered Life podcast, where we discuss all things empowering, encouraging and inspiring. My name is Yvonne Ellis. I'm an empowerment speaker, author, coach, trainer and founder of Yumi Empowerment, a company that facilitates the empowerment of people. I help people to make positive life change, live in their purpose and develop into their best version of self. I share stories, interviews, spiritual encouragement and actionable tips to empower, encourage and inspire you to live the life you want. So if you want to live the empowered life, join me each week on my podcast so we can take the journey together. Hello Empowered Lifers, welcome to Living the Empowered Life podcast. Today is episode 20 of the podcast. If it is your first time listening in, welcome. I hope that you find the episode interesting and that you're able to take something of value away from today's episode. And if you've listened in again and you've continued to support me as I've done this podcast, I appreciate you. I want to thank you from the bottom of my heart for your support. It means a lot to me. I see that the numbers of listeners are going up and thank you for being one of them. And I hope that you also find today's episode empowering, encouraging and inspiring and that you're able to take something of value away from it. And if you're not following me on any of the platforms that this podcast is on, Apple, iTunes, Spotify and Stitcher, why don't you give me a follow on one of those platforms? I believe you can press the subscribe button or the plus or follow button, you know, so you don't miss any of the bi-weekly episodes. So in today's episode, I want to talk to you about three things I wish I was taught or learned sooner. Now, this is off the back of me actually celebrating my 45th birthday last week. Yes, I said it. I am 45 years old. I'm not one of those people that get precious about my age or when I get to a certain age, I start hiding the numbers or, you know, minusing the numbers of my age. I see the fact that I have turned 45 years old as something that is a badge of honour, something that is an achievement. Because just reflecting on my own life and the things that I have had to endure and go through, it's a miracle that I even made it to this age. So I'm really grateful and thankful to God, you know, for getting me to this age, you know, for blessing me and showing me favour in so many things. But as I mentioned, you know, 45 is one of those ages where I believe that, you know, you start to take stock of your life. Well, you should be taking stock before that. But I think that, you know, this is an age where a lot of people, when they get to their mid kind of time in life, they start taking, you know, um, stock of their life. Some people have midlife crises. Some people use the time, you know, to maybe do things they haven't done before. But as you enter midlife, it is a time that, you know, some people do start to think a little bit differently about their life and themselves. In the lead up to my 45th birthday, a couple of days before, I spent some time just reflecting, you know, from my journals that I keep, you know, looking back and just seeing what things that really stood out to me during my 44th year. This is something that, again, some people do if they keep journals. I've been keeping journals now for over 20 years. I find them really empowering to keep because I love to look back on them to see how far that I have come. And I was looking back over, as I said, 2020, 2019, just looking back over the previous two years to see what things really stood out to me. I like to look on it for the year ahead so it can help me to either improve on some things, learn some things, you know, um, deal with some things maybe that I hadn't dealt with. And I find it a powerful exercise to do. And it was off the back of doing that kind of reflection for my journals that I'm doing this episode today about three things I wish I learned sooner or was taught sooner, however you want to put it. Um, These are things I think that if I had um, learned them sooner or put into action sooner, they probably would have helped me to have a more positive outcome in these areas that I'm about to share with you. So I've got three things on this list that I wish to share with you. The first life lesson I wish I had been taught sooner is how to handle money. 
Now, I grew up, obviously, in a household with a brother and sister, me being the older sibling. My mum did keep savings for all three of us. Um, I didn't see a penny of those savings once I spoke out and, you know, said about what was going on with me um, in my household. And I've done an episode on my story, so you can check that out. But um, I do remember my mum saving money for us, for us when we got older. And I wish that I was taught by my mum or my dad at the time how to save money, the importance of money, the good and bad about money, so that it would have given me that life lesson for later on in life. And I do remember actually making attempts to save in my um, 20s before I got married. And even whilst we were married, we did save a bit. But I do think if I was just taught the principles of those life lessons about money earlier, I probably would have been more consistent and, you know, done things a bit more differently. Now, I'm pleased to say, actually, going forward, I was able to teach my older daughter the importance of saving. I used to have a thing with her where it was spend half, save half. And I was able to do that for her and have savings for her. And also my 15 year old daughter, you know, I'm able to save for her now. And she has her own little savings account where she puts money into out of her own pocket money. So, you know, good things can come from bad situations. And as the saying goes, you know, better late than never. The second life lesson I wish I was taught sooner was an example of a healthy, loving relationship. Now, my examples obviously should have come from my parents in all areas. But what I saw in my parents relationship was a relationship that was quite dysfunctional and emotionally abusive. And subconsciously taking in what I had seen, I then when I came to an age later on in life where I started to have relationships I ended up with my first relationship being with somebody who was quite emotionally abusive at times. Now, also coupled together with the fact that I had gone through childhood sexual abuse at the hands of my father and him being the first example of a man, a male, as a young girl that I was supposed to connect with doing this to me, it was just a recipe for disaster. I spent a lot of time just in a lot of dysfunction in this relationship and even coming out of that relationship I had a couple of good relationships but I could never appreciate the value of them just because I was just you know used to this dysfunction that I had seen as my example growing up. Now it's taken me a lot of years to understand the importance of a healthy loving relationship. I have been able to get that example from the love, mercy and grace that Jesus has shown me in my life through his Holy Spirit guiding and leading me because I have been married for 16 years and nobody has given me that example of how to be a wife, how to be a mother, none of those examples. You know, God has been to me my example for everything how he guides me, how he leads me, you know, what I learned through his word, the Bible, and also as well through trial and error. Trust me, I've made so many mistakes in my relationship, in my marriage, especially in how to be a healthy, loving woman. And that is the ultimate goal for me to be this, you know, to my family, not just as a wife, but as a mother. Now, if I was shown those examples earlier on in my life, you know, through my mother's example, through my example of my parents, because they weren't married or anything, you know. um, But if I was shown those examples of how they interacted with each other, treated each other, if my dad didn't abuse me, I believe that those life lessons of how to be um, a woman, how to have a healthy, loving relationship, you know, would have benefited my life for, for better. I certainly wouldn't have, I believe, got myself into a relationship where I ended up pregnant at such a young age and I'm not saying that I regret my eldest daughter because obviously blessings come in different ways but I probably would not have been in those situations or exposed to those situations if my father wouldn't have abused me you know and would have cherished me I think that's the word I'm looking for if he would have cherished me 
and in not, you know, abused his position as my parent and told me I was special and told me I was loved and showed me that through his care and action of me, things might have turned out a lot different. That's what I believe anyway. I may not have necessarily have done it their way, but just having that template, I think would have made all the difference. And the third life lesson I wish that I was taught was that I was someone of value, that I was worth it. As you can probably see, there's a theme through these three life lessons I wish I was taught sooner or learned sooner. And that is that the basis for all three of them should have really all started within my family environment. I should have been able to have got all those different things first from my parents. The fact that I didn't feel that I was worth anything or value to anyone for a large period of my life I believe came through all those experiences that started in my childhood. I never had anybody in a parental role affirm me or tell me that they're proud of me. The only one has been God that has told me that. But what I always wanted was for somebody, even though I had God, you know, telling me these things um, through his word and just through, you know, his Holy Spirit. I just wish I had somebody that would have physically told me that they were proud of me and that would have affirmed me um, especially in a parental role now one of the strangest things happened that I have a couple of friends one who has been like a confidant to me and was a confidant to me for many years and another friend from my church who in the last two years you know on different occasions pulled me aside and said you know what Yvonne you have been through so much and look at how well you have done. I'm so proud of you. You know, you are amazing. And just having those affirmations, somebody saying they're proud of me and hugging me and that. I never had that before. And it was one of those things where you don't know you need it until you get it. And when I got that affirmation of them, it was something that was quite loving. It was something that took me aback. You know, it made me feel warm inside because I've just never had it. Um, I don't remember ever having it. And it is important to feel that you are worth something to somebody. I think that if I would have been shown my value just through my father's actions and my mother's actions, I would have had a better esteem about myself. I would have valued myself more highly than I did for many years, just feeling like I wasn't good enough feeling that you know there is always something wrong with me and that I'm always falling short of the mark um yeah I just think that that kind of positive affirmation from my parents would have made a difference but it was nice to get it off you know these two friends who insistently love um told me that you know and how it made me feel was actually really nice I do really think it's important to learn something from your life I do really think it's important to see what lessons that you can learn. If you have journals, go back through your journals and see what things really stand out to you. Think about things that, you know, have really had a real impact on you and think about how you can use them to go forward. Many people go through life and they learn nothing from what they have gone through the things that have shaped their life and that is a real tragedy because life and the essence of living the empowered life is about personal growth and if you're not looking back on things that you know may have hindered you or things that you've learned lessons from or experiences that you've had to empower you how are you going to go forward and live the empowered life this is what life consists of learning from stuff this is where personal growth comes in so the bible scripture i want to leave you with this week is from psalm 32 8 in the niv version of the bible it says i will instruct you and teach you in the way you should go i will counsel you with my loving eye on you now being at a place where you don't know certain things I think that this scripture for me is very, very fitting that God says that he will counsel me and guide me with his eye on where to go, what decisions to make, what things to do. And I can testify to that because he's already been doing it throughout my entire life, teaching me how to be 
a wife, teaching me how to save money, teaching me, you know, the value of myself and different things like that. So as usual, I will post a notification of an upload of the new episode on my Instagram, which is Yumi Empowerment, Y-E-M-E underscore empowerment. Check me out over there. Follow me on Instagram because I share inspiring, empowering, encouraging things over on that social media platform. I also want to ask you this question when I upload this notification of the episode. The question is, what life lesson do you wish you had learned sooner? And what difference do you think it would have made to your life? I would love to know and I would love to hear from you. Please continue to support. I will leave links to my YouTube, Instagram, everything in the show notes below. And I will see you on the next episode. Take care.